Hello peeps, this is the trail, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. You know, today's market, I don't know if it's throwing a party, because I'm back to trading and not simming and working on ATMs, but this was, wow, is the only word to describe it. I have never seen... You know, when I open my charts in the morning to plot the start, you know, of the open, the high of the day, the low of the day, I had to scroll back so far. And at six, like quarter to seven this morning, the ES volume was already at a half a million. I was like, what is going on? And if you were in stream, you saw the four volume you know the four charts that I follow for volume which is the ES and the NASDAQ both minis and micro all of them but the regular NASDAQ was over a million before market open that was insane so all I could say is hope maybe whatever Whatever I did today, I don't know if it was dumb luck because I know accounts, this was a make or break an account day, definitely, which I feel my channels, dropping my channels help me stay where I need to be, which is why I need to really be more consistent in even dropping the counter trend channels. So as crazy as it sounds I took six trades today and that's only because the volatility was so crazy it kept rejecting one account or another and so I took my initial four trades and then I turned those four um, the four that reached a hundred dollars or more in profit I turned those off and then I traded the last two who weren't at a hundred dollars yet and then I think my fifth trade I had two accounts then the sixth trade just the one and it wasn't quite at a hundred you'll see on the performance so six trades today let's review there's a theme today peeps and they're all second entries because it just it just tanked it even filled the gap from May 3rd before it started moving back up and I think when I logged off it was just starting to turn around but I don't know if that was being maintained so this trade I took right before the start of stream and it just it just did weird stuff and I don't even think it was that volatile but I don't know if it's my trade copier or what but afterwards everything was fine volatility or not but for some reason even though it was a winning trade all my other accounts were at like 60 70 80 bucks and the the lead account and the the one next to it they were only at twenty dollars I don't know yeah, I don't understand why. My second trade, of course, another second entry short. At this point, prices broke my downtrend channel and made its way back to the EMA, but continuing down. So this is like a second entry short and also a lower high. And I think it just went, it didn't go far. It gave me enough for my scalp, maybe a couple of points because as you could see how wide my stop loss is because I had to do it from last week if you or if you saw any of the streams from last week I was working with the micro NASDAQ and the grid usually my grid is one point but on the NASDAQ it's two because it's so volatile and the movement on the MES, the candles are bigger, which was freaking me out because I'm still thinking I'm working with minis. So a candle that would be 
eight or nine points, which is like three or four hundred dollars, it's only 20 to 30 bucks on the MES. So I had to move my stop loss further out. So when prices move, you know, it's a really big move. So I'm working with one and a half minis, so to speak. So it's a total of 15 micros, 10 for the initial point and five for the runner, which will also help me with my losses not being so big if I pick wrong. My third trade, second entry short. And I'm trying to be, you know, uber careful where I go waiting for to see which way prices are going since the movement is so big with these micros because you know it'll still move even a point or two before it reverses so choosing to go in quickly or waiting can go against you either way but at this point I had placed my uptrend channel and even though prices didn't make it all the way back to the EMA, I'm still feeling like we still need a new low for the last downtrend channel, which is why I played that. My fourth trade, of course, another second entry short. Prices have broken out of the last larger downtrend channel and is beginning a new one. So I'm still thinking, even though I'm above the EMA, I'm still thinking it's going to try to create a new low. And I also took this one too because it was an evening star in an overall large downtrend, which is why I feel that worked. My fifth trade, unfortunately, I did not hit record, but if you look within, you know, the last green arrow within the sideways trading range, I was just playing a lower high from the last high that was fading back into the overall trend channel, just trying to play it to the bottom. But the actual final trade is me playing a second entry short and it was a breakout pullback bounce off the bottom of that same sideways trading range and again you won't see the PL move but you'll be able to see all the numbers you know now on the performance here's that snip of today's performance i have to get used to you know i'm working with micros so of course the amount of money that I make will be smaller but the commissions will also be larger in comparison because the fact that I made over a thousand but my overall you know after commission and fees is almost half that's almost kind of sad and I didn't get number 13 to a hundred dollars but for me it was close enough and since it was my sixth trade I figure ah stop right there I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching shout out to those who joined us in a live stream this morning if you missed it I'll link the video replay here be sure to check us out tomorrow 7 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 a.m. on Twitch for the simulcast May the trades always go your way.